Hi, Ian. It's me, Nicole Phoenix Star, and this is the Next Star Podcast. Well, last week, this podcast, um, <laughs> it got accidentally deleted in a digital glitch. It was gone. And so rather than re-recording it and doing all that, I just let it be. Um, because that's what happened. These things do happen in life and we roll with whatever happens. <laughs> Today I want to talk about change being an opportunity for curiosity and excitement. I was watching something the other day and this guy said, I, I feel this weird anxiety inside me, but it's like good anxiety. And the girl he was talking to said, yeah, I think that's excitement. And I thought that was quite hilarious. Um, how sometimes we can't decipher the experience we're having in our bodies. And I was chatting earlier around how most people find change very difficult and don't like it. And I replied, I love change. And the reply was, you're not very much like other people. And I said, this is true. So, sometime last week, I actually created a Instagram story that said something like, what ever we wish to happen or hope to happen or think will happen never happens and that is certainty and I think most people often find the same thing or you know life being a certain way that is a sense of security and a sense of stability and yet when change is kind of thrust upon them they find it creates a level of anxiety because there's no sense of control or life's going to op create an opportunity of something that they aren't prepared for or they don't feel comfortable in and you know that's pretty pretty regular but the thing is is that on the other side of the coin is people want so many things in their life to change but don't want to go through the change to get there and so there's this huge dichotomy that is you know constantly at play yet everything always changes and that is consistent and we can rely on them and I find that when change is thrust upon me or, you know, a kind of a bit of a shake up is I recognize that there's an opportunity here that will likely result in evolution. And I get this really deep sense of curiosity without being attached to what it is, but like, always remaining in that state of letting life live through you, but having this wonder and this awe of how it's going to unfold it while being present and letting it unfold organically and in its own way, you know, like we just interfere when we try and work out what the next step is. The next step always comes. It always comes. There is always this undeniable pull It'll show you which way to go. And yet we run around in loops trying to work it out. And 
life always takes us in the most unimaginable places. It's consistent. And it's funny, there's been like times in my life where life has just been so much of the sameness. And that happens a lot in parenthood and motherhood, you know, like you get up and you've got to make breakfast for the child and prepare them for school or whatever age they're at and what they need and, you know, the next step and whether you're going to work, like just this consistent sameness and, you know, that at times can be feel very boring and other times it just feels like real and top day. It's like, here we are again, doing the same thing. And yet you offer that person things to change and they freak out. And it's like such a human trait, you know. In the last couple of years, I've really leaned into routines around nutrition, exercise, supplementation, like just a really heap of routines to support my wellness journey. And there was a real sense of certainty in that I haven't always felt and a real sense of stability because, you know, it's not like the same experience as having to do the same thing every day. But doing the same thing every day with intentionality and it yielding extraordinary results. And there's been times where I've kind of like had a sense of sameness or borderline boringness in the routines and just recognize that it was probably a time for, you know, a little shift or a little adjustment or a little pivot. And I used to do yin yoga every second day and now I've supplemented that with some strength training for bone density and brain health and hormone balancing. And I found that the flexibility I gained in consistent routine in yoga really set me up for this strength training. And I do yin yoga now. It's just 30 minutes from YouTube, free, you know, Plus, maybe once a week, maybe every once every 10 days, I just find that it's just deep stretching and it's such a complimentary, oh, complimentary, bouncing words around um, to all the things I do. And yeah. We don't have to stay in these routines that, you know, we need to do or are doing us good. We can see, because we just get sick of it and stop it. And just do slight incremental adjustments because that's what your body is actually asking for. Um, and the same goes for daily ritual. You know, like there's just been so many times in my life where I've created a consistent regular ritual that may be seven days or 21 days or 40 days. And again, that daily consistent action creates this whole sense of security and yields incredible results and then at times it can kind of feel boring um it's such a funny human dynamic this 
sameness and his friend change and how it can be really funky and chunky. Um, we attach ourselves to belief systems and ways of thinking and things that have worked for us in the past and are resistant to change and kind of get forced kicking and screaming to change and land in a whole new way of doing things and go, oh, <laughs> yeah, this is actually so much more aligned with where I'm at or I never, ever would have believed that I could have gotten here. Um, yet, I know that life always changes, but I resist it so much. It's such a common thing I hear from so many people. And I had a couple of experiences last week where, like I said, this idea of change was quite thrust upon me and I've been feeling it. Like there's this been swirling inside me. There's this knowing that a shift is coming. The, sh the winds of change are in the air and, and you know, like, I kind of get forgetful sometimes and go, okay, what do I need to do to, to bring this into life? But, you know, is there any way I can assist in manifesting this? And it's like the pull always comes and the insight always arrives and just be present to it. And it's been unfolding in such a glorious, hilarious way where it's like, I had this moment and I'm like, oh my God, that's it. I know. And that really intense event that happened was the actual portal and gateway for me to arrive in this knowing of the shift that I've been feeling so strongly for weeks, maybe even months now. And then this other little insight came the day after and it was like, and this is the broader vision. And I was like, oh. And then I've, I've had this like kind of, well, I'm going to say sentence, but it's more like a statement that has kind of played over in my mind over maybe 10 years, like, and it came in again and I was sitting down yesterday and I realized that what I thought it meant actually probably means something very different. And I saw kind of like these potentials of what it actually could mean. And I giggled and I giggled and I giggled and I just remain in my patience pants, knowing that clarity always comes. I don't have to try and work it out. I don't have to hang, have anxiety of not knowing what it's going to be. I can trust the process because I trust myself implicitly and know that whatever changes upon us absolutely always comes. That is a certainty that is consistent. Just like banging next door at the construction site. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but anyways, that's living life authentically. I am not disturbed or concerned about whether there is hammering in the background of this podcast because it is the environment that I'm in right now. So I guess the general message and conversation of this podcast today is be curious when you sense change. Be curious when you feel or squeezy or anxious that you don't know what the future is going to be. Allow your sense of anxiety to be excitement knowing that life will always unfold no matter what no amount of like perceived preparation or you know 
doing some action steps that you think are a good idea will actually affect it because it won't. Be present in every moment. And if there's a pull or an insight or a very clear message, just follow it. Otherwise, just be fully open. And enjoy life in each moment. Because what else are you going to do? Be annoyed? Be grumpy? Try and work out the future that you'll never be able to work out? Like, what's the point? Yeah, but. There is no yeah, buts. So many people try and prepare themselves for what's going to happen. And what does happen is never what they prepare themselves for. Life unfolds perfectly, always. Even the most stressful, uncomfortable, unpleasant moments could be the most unimaginable outcome. They are the portal that will take you into exactly where you're meant to be. All the resistance, all the looping of the mind just makes the experience very unpleasant. Drop it. Just drop the need to control everything. Drop the need to try and know what's going to happen. Trust in the intelligence that is life. Know that we're in this dance with all the other humans. And that dance floor can get very, very erratic at times. And someone could be flinging around and whack you in the head with their crazy dance moves. Someone else might come up and shimmy behind you and give you the most glorious hug you've ever had. Anything can happen on the dance floor. Life is the dance floor. What else are you going to do? Like, really? Ask yourself. What if I just showed up to each moment without the fear of it? Without trying to control it or try and work it out? And allow myself to experience every second of it. And be a willing participant into life living through me. And just roll out in the unfolding of each moment. Because that's your contribution to the conscious collective. That is the imprint that you leave in every step you take. And the frequency of your breath, the light of your fear or love, Excitement, trepidation. It's what you contribute to us all. It's a big practice. Just try it. And if you find yourself kind of spinning out of control, just stop and go, oh, I'm doing that spinning out of control thing. I'm trying to... Con I'm trying to control, I'm, I'm in fear. What if I just stopped and listen to the noise of the air conditioner in this room? What if I just listen to the single banging of the hammer next door? What if I just focused on the wind touching my face and that's it? Because we can come back into presence very fast if we just focus on one sense. It's hearing or seeing or feeling all of, like our sense fields. Taste. 
we just use a sense and focus on that one sense, it'll drop you back into that place of neutrality. And you will find you're in a state of equanimity. And that is where you will be neutral. The mind won't be spinning. You self-regulate. You remind yourself. What if I was brave enough to let life live through me? And I could trust myself that I wouldn't try and make a decision to do something other than that. There are no bad choices. They come from the mind, trying to work stuff out. But when you're in that place of neutrality, you won't experience a bad choice ever. True illusion. Okay. So go try. Let me know if you want. Talk to someone else about it. See if you can experience peace in your body without the constant mind identification of having to work out the next moment. Thank you so much to you for listening to me. I appreciate you so much. My website is www.nickstar.com, N-I-K-S-T-A-R-R. All my love. Blah.